Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy, also known as ETCG1 when I post videos to this channel. And if it is your birthday, yes, I would like to wish you a very special happy birthday. Not just a regular one, a very special one. I have, for lack of a better word, stalled out on progress of the Fairmont, which is really sort of sad because I'm so close to the finish line. What's been holding me back lately is the roll bar. Now, it's an area that I'm not familiar with. I've never done it. My welding is questionable. It holds, but it's questionable. As far as roll bar stuff, one of the things I have done is I've practiced a bit. And welds aren't bad, but they're not great. You know, I'd like better. And part of my problem is I simply can't see, and that probably is a result of me needing glasses, but that's for another video. But. You know, I've, I've been trying to practice, trying to, you know, see if I could do this. And I can do this, but it's ugly. So ugly. And this is not only a safety feature, but it's also going to be seen. So it's, it's like out there and visible. And for those of you that say a grinder and paint make you the welder you ain't, well, that is a good saying, but you're not allowed to grind and paint uh, roll cage or roll bar stuff at the track. So I want to make sure that I'm going to pass tech. Now, for the past two weeks, I've just kind of been in this limbo. I've been doing like little things to the car and not really moving forward with this roll bar. Every time I try to move forward with the roll bar, it's like I hit a road roadblock and I'm just like beating my head up against the wall and, and it's just it's just not working out. So I've, I'm reaching out or I have reached out to try and solicit help for the roll bar part of things. Uh, the roll bar and the exhaust are like the last things that need to be fitted. In fact, my exhaust guy talked me into getting a, uh, an electric cutout. I've been wanting to do a manual cutout since day one. He's like, ah, there's nothing really available. Get this kind from uh, Doug's, I think it was, was the name of the place. So I got it. It's on order, but I have to wire up yet another switch. And I've already finished all the wiring. It sucks. But I mean, my fuel system is done. My suspension is done. My wiring is done, which was huge. The HVAC is done. I mean, there's so many things that I've crossed off the list. And like I said, I'm, I'm down to the roll bar. I'm down to the exhaust. So what's my problem? Obviously, it's psychological. <laughs> but I think... I think this happens. You know, I, I talk about when it's time to walk away, and, and those of you know that uh, I've stopped posting videos to air at the car guy for a minute uh, while I figure some things out. One of the main things I want to do is finish the Fairmont. So I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if that might have something to do with it, that I'm not quite ready to get back on ETCG. Uh, and I want to give it a little bit of time, but you know, whenever I'm faced with things that I don't know how to do, I, I start with a bit of trepidation. You know, and I, and I have trouble getting over that hump. Uh, but once, I'm, once I start doing, I'm good. But I, like I said, I've been finding a lot of little things to do on the Fairmont that aren't necessarily moving forward to build. They're, they're little detail things that, you know, I say to myself and I justify by saying, well, if I do it now, I don't have to worry about it later. <laughs> and, and that's been going on for a little bit now. And, you know, I, I just wonder if I'm also burned out on the Fairmont because in addition to all the video editing work I've been doing, I've been building this car, you know, like nonstop for months now, all summer, in fact, it's, it's August, 2017. It's taken a lot out of me, it's taken its toll. And I, I'm just, I'm trying to find a balance, but I'm also trying to finish it. So it's like this catch 22. And I'm just putting this out, like if you have a project car, and I'm getting this from the fact that like, you can go on Craigslist or just maybe even eBay, and you can probably find all kinds of project vehicles that are not complete, that are for sale for way less than what they're worth. And I think it's because of this right here. I think maybe, you know, you start out with a lot of drive and determination and you're all excited and you get into it and you just keep sort of envisioning driving the car or truck when you're done and, and that keeps you going. But as you, as you fall into the, the quicksand, <laughs> slowly sink, and you realize it's costing way more money than you initially set out to spend. Um, your wife might be annoyed with you by now and maybe wants her garage back. And you, you're spending a lot more time than you thought it would take. You're like, ah, a couple of months, I'll get this knocked out. Well, initially, uh, those of you will probably call me out on this. 
I was supposed to just take the engine and transmission out of the Mustang and swap it over to this and be done. And that's initially what I was supposed to do, but I bought the wrong Mustang. Uh, and that's because the engine was junk. I was hoping the engine was good. I was looking at the rest of the car thinking, man, the rest of the car is rough, but the engine sounds darn good. It's not missing. It's not anything. Well, we opened it up to find out that uh, we had rusty cylinders and that changed everything. Uh, once I realized I was going to have to get an engine block, I said, why not turbo? And that just screwed everything up. And here we are, like two years later, and it's still not done. And here I am complaining about not finding the motivation to finish. And it, it seems ridiculous. It doesn't seem ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. But I, I wanted to share this with you partly because I want to see if those of you in the audience who perhaps maybe have gone down the same path, have experienced the same thing, and you find yourself you know, procrastinating in the most uh, productive way possible. Like I said, finding little things that aren't necessarily necessary right now, uh, but you're doing that instead of getting the big pieces done that you need to get done, such as my roll bar here. And, you know, ha have you found yourself there? And, and have you given up long before now? Because like I said, I am looking at the finish line. I, I can see it, it's, it's right there. Uh, now, once I get it all together and running, I still have to do the exhaust, like I mentioned, and I'm also going to have to figure out the alignment and bump steer and all that stuff. But that's all tweaking stuff. It's not like having to fabricate every single piece of the car, which is what I've done up to this point. And it, 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 like I said, it's wore me out. You know, all, all the research I've done. I know a lot about Fox bodies now. And I also know a lot about how cars are put together like in a more intimate way than I ever have, right down to every single stinking wire in this car. You know, I know it's this car, but I mean, really, the Fairmont Project, for those of you that have followed it and have enjoyed it, uh, you've seen every single system of a vehicle covered and modified and, you know, explored in detail. And it's, it's too much detail for some, I get that. But those of you that have seen that, you know, I think you may be walking away with the same thing that I've walked away with which is, like I said, an even greater understanding. I've been working on cars for 20 years and I've never known one at this kind of intimate level. I've torn things down, ripped interiors out. You've seen me do it before on my show. Engines, transmissions, no problem. But when you start taking everything, the wiring harness and all that, like stripping it down to the firewall, stripping all of it, like stripping it, you get to know it in a very intimate way. And that may take away some of your motivation once you realize the daunting task that you're faced with, with putting it all back together. Yeah, right? Anyhow, I just wanted to see if those of you have experienced something similar. Also, those of you that are interested in the Fairmont project, this is something of a Fairmont update. Uh, but as I said, I've solicited some help uh, with the roll bar and I'm hoping that's gonna move me forward because once I'm past that hurdle, it's, it's like a domino effect. Everything is already ready to go back together. It's all blown apart now. It looks all blown apart, but everything is fitted and ready. Like even all my wiring, my dashboard, everything I set up to be serviceable. So all I gotta do is plug a few things in, bolt it in, done. So it should take, you know, I think a day to put the car together, at most a day and a half uh, at this point, once the roll bar is done. Anyway, are you like me? Are you, are you lazy? Do you procrastinate? <laughs> and then make videos about it. <laughs> Anyhow, if you have automotive questions not covered in this video, which darn it, I didn't cover anything automotive, head over to ericthecarguy.com. There's ways to get answers to those automotive questions over there. Other than that, I close my videos with be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. I know, I know I've been kind of a prima donna lately and you know, having my own little issues. And you know, I, I appreciate those of you that have reached out and offered your support. And that means a lot to me. So thanks to all of you that, that have reached out to me directly. And those of you that haven't, that are just wishing me well, thank you for that. Anyway, be safe, have fun, stay dirty. I'll see you next time.